Dilililip. Hey! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in DayZ, DayZ 1.18 Experimental, of all places. And this is called, or what the developers are calling the Explosive Update. A lot of really cool stuff coming through here. And this is on Experimental, currently for PC and Xbox. Now, it's not to say that PlayStation is left out here. Uh, once things are complete on Experimental and they're polished, they go to Main Branch, and that will be for everybody. So, you know, follow these Experimental updates uh, closely because these will be things that will be in the game for everybody, PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So here we go. This one's looking pretty wild, right? Okay, let's uh, let's tap in here. Okay, Experimental 18, I'm sorry, 1.18 Experimental Release. Greetings, survivors. A month has passed since we released the update 1.17. Those of you who read the corresponding article we published know we've already been hard at work on the next update. Well, we are excited to announce the experimental build of Update 1.18 is now live on Steam and Xbox. Again, it'll be for PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam once it goes to main branch. It's on experimental or testing. Uh, we've got a lot of new tools to discuss this time around, so let's get to it. First off, there are plenty of new explosives to be found and made. There are claymores, a directional mine found in high-tier military areas and can be detonated remotely. Ooh, baby! Next, we have a powerful plastic explosive that can be found in industrial areas combined with the new remote detonation, <laughs> which is meant to be detonated from a safe distance. Finally, all you crafty survivors out there also can also create an improvised explosive device. In-game, of course, don't hit us there, Aunt Susan. From a protector case? Wait, from a protector case. Oh, oh, the yellow one. Okay. This device accepts a variety of explosives found in-game and can be activated with a remote detonation unit, alarm clock, or kitchen timer. That's crazy. Speaking of explosive things, we've also added a grenade launcher. We chose to go with the legendary M79, a single-shot grenade launcher, because we feel this one fits our gameplay the best. Unlike the underslug grenade launchers for existing assault rifles, which we deem too powerful. We've experienced a few challenges in terms of aiming. Whoops, I meant to select that. So please let us know how the current setup works for you. The N M79 also comes with a variety of 40 millimeter grenades, which can also be found in different places across the world. Uh, there are other firearm additions as well, but we'll leave it up to you to discover what they are. Oh man, this is crazy. And there, it looks like there's some definite ads here for PlayStation and Xbox controllers. I mean, I guess controllers plugged into a PC as well, but here we go. Uh, since many of these newly created items are considered very powerful combat and base rating tools, they will be difficult to acquire under the balanced economy we intend to provide. To allow for easier access during this experimental period, we've adjusted the spawning of these tools as they appear more frequently in the low-tier areas. We've also tweaked the sensitivity settings for console builds, especially the settings for the right control stick. Camera and aiming sliders are now responsible for adjusting speed, while the new curvature sliders affect the sensitivity curve. The controller sensitivity settings are now visible even when the mouse and keyboard mode is enabled. Nice. Yeah, this new uh, layout schema they've got is fantastic. And we still have the option to switch between the two. And again, this pertains to PlayStation as well. Okay. Uh, while we're on the subject of controls, we've made major changes to key binding menu, to the key binding menu. Now we can split input actions into different groups and make the key binding clear and introduce a whole new category of input actions like gestures. This gives you the ability to bind any emote to any key of your choice. Oh, finally. Removing the dependence function key, hard-coded gestures. Oh, man, this is going to be fantastic. There's so many things we haven't been able to do that we'll be able to do now. Oh, fantastic. An active key binding or I'm sorry, an active binding is also visible in the gesture radial menu, which has received many changes and is now less cluttered and easier to navigate. Lastly, but certainly not least, this game unlocks hundreds of static environment objects, so server owners can now customize their servers. We've also added new configuration options to the central economy that allows for spawning of collections of objects through a dynamic event. Ooh, baby! We've already implemented this system for one type of new event, though we'll let you figure out what that uh, figure that out which one uh, which one that is on your own. He says we hope you're going to have fun with all of these new tools. We look forward to bumping into you during the our regular Friday playtest. On behalf of the Daisy team, Adam. Now, what's fantastic about this is 
uh, there's been really great modifications happening over on the console side. Uh, one of the good uh, creators out there that can uh, uh, help you right now with these community server builds for console is Don Sibley, Don Sibley Games. Go check him out. Fantastic dude. Um, yeah, uh, it, it looks like these tools here are going to add even more options for us. I know you have to do some things on the PC and then inject it into the um, on the server side or make some uh, modifications, but it is possible, which is sweet. So if you've got community servers, this is fantastic news. This is great news for everybody. And again, this includes everybody, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, Steam, uh, once this does hit live branch or main branch. So it looks like this will sit here and float uh, for a while here in the experimental phase. Might go through a few iterations here on the Xbox. It'll definitely go through many iterations on the PC, and we'll let you guys know what that's like. We'll be on the live stream checking this out on Xbox, uh, more specifically the Xbox Series X. And just so you know, if you're looking for the Daisy Experimental, it does have a red background and it is a separate download. So if you're looking for the icons, it looks like the Daisy icon, but it's got a red background. So it'll also say Experimental on there. So just remember, search for that. It is a separate download. And uh, yeah, jump in there, check it out, and we'll let you guys know what we find. And if you found this useful and helpful, be sure to drop a like. Uh, if you're into it, drop that subscribe and turn on that notification bell. And we'll catch you guys in the next live stream slash video. Bye! Ba, 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 ba. No, no zombies.